I used to do this stuff all the time, but it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been four or five years. So we owe these guys a scope and a fee. So I always start with a scope. Because you can't price you can't price your survey unless you know what you're doing, right? So we're gonna start with the scope. Okay, so you guys know how this, you know, this isn't your guys' first rodeo, so you know how this goes, right? The engineer got a hold of me, and what did they say? We need a survey. And so what did I say? What are the limits, and what are we doing? Yeah, so I rattled off our standard list of questions, yep. which at some point we should probably write down, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you guys see them there, right? So they sent me a draft scope from their last project. Okay, that had a bunch of stuff in it, scanning and a bunch of stuff. So I said... You know, what do you guys really need out here? It turns out they don't really need as much as we thought. Okay, so what I want to do first is we're going to go through this email and we're going to just sketch out, we're going to rough, real quick rough out our outline of our scope. Okay, then we're going to go write it. We're going to write our scope, then we're going to do the fee. We can probably have this done in an hour. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to let you guys push buttons. I'm just going to be here for emotional support. Okay. Okay, so let's go down. Let's just read through this. It's been a couple days since I've looked at this. So. Uh, okay, so my email says I looked over the draft scope for the two bridges. We're going to split this up too. They didn't ask, but I, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with the Tuolumne. Yeah, I'll you guys can pick whatever you want. Same scope for both bridges, around. right? Basically. Yep. The fee will be different. <laughs> but same scope. Based on that document and your email below, I have the following questions. What are the mapping limits? And can we get a napkin sketch? Okay, did we get a napkin sketch? Nope. No, <laughs> of course not. So they said 1,000 feet at Stanislaus and 1,500 at... So is that 1,000 feet each direction? That's what we're assuming is 1,500 feet each direction. That's a safe assumption, So, but we'll have to... So what, what you got to do with these guys is they won't give us a sketch, so what are we going to do? Sketch something. We're going to give them a mapping limits exhibit and let them tweak it. Okay, so we've got that to work on today, today <coughs> tomorrow. Okay, so they want... Let's say we're just going to go with 1,500 feet upstream, uh, up road and down road from the bridge, mm -hmm. or up up route and down route because it's a railroad, and then include roadways that are crossing under the bridge, but they don't say how much, how far we're going to go, so we're going to make an educated guess. Okay, We're going to give them some limits, and they're going to destroy them probably, but that's fine. That's part of the process. Okay, so which bridge are we looking at here, Danny? This is so they're, they're putting a new bridge where? Don't know. Okay, so somewhere next, somewhere in this area, right? Yep. I gotta imagine it's between the highway and the existing bridge. Okay, so we'll we'll assume that and then they gotta confirm it for us, right? So that information they sent us didn't have the proposed alignment? No. Okay. Okay. Alright, so do we want to include any of these items in our scope? So we're not. We're going to exclude title reports, right? Uh, but Sybil's going to request the utility maps. So basically, what that means is our Sybil's going to do their own utility mapping. Okay. I think that's a bad idea, but I'm going to let them do it. So all we're going to do is survey above ground utilities, just part of the topo. Mm -hmm. Okay. He wants us to provide basically a TNM budget for utility locating. You see that? We're going to give him an estimated number of days. Okay, so we'll do that together. Uh, every time you do a bridge job, they got to run a hydraulic model of the, of the channel to figure out things like scour and flood capacity. Uh, they said they already have it. Okay. So no, no soundings or channel sections. Okay, they asked, they had scans of the bridge, existing bridge in their scope, but they said no, completely new, so they don't need scans. Okay, I said, do you need scope and fee for right-of-way takes? Will there be any? It says only to identify right away needs for the project, permanent or TCEs. Okay, so what that means to me is there is this is kind of what they call PA and ED. So there's PA and ED and there's PS and E. PA and ED is planning level, PS and E is plan spec specifications and estimates. So this is not final design, probably, that we're working on here. This is first phase. Okay, so they say only to identify right away needs for the project. So what, what we're going to give them is a land net, and I'm probably going to put a TNM task in there to help them come up with a right away footprint. 
based on the, the civil design, but we're going to make that optional. And I'm going to explain what that is when we get to it. Okay, don't let me forget. Okay, so let's go through what they want based on that email. Okay, so here's our scope. And the, the reason I wanted to do this with you guys is with that email is about 50% of what we need to do. Mm -hmm. So I just, based on previous project experience, I just know what these guys are going to need and I need to teach you what that is, right? Okay, so very first thing we're going to put in this scope, he didn't ask for it, but what do they need? Very first thing we do. Control. Control. Okay. And because this is a public works project, can you have Baker control? Nope. They're going to be working on, they're going to have to figure out flood issues, mm -hmm. uh, you know, clearance for those roads. Okay, so here's what we're going to tell them. Here's what we're going to give them, and they may change it, but we're going to do, so control. We're going to do fast static. Tied to cores. We're going to put it on any VD88 vertical. And MAD83 horizontal. State plane. Probably grid. CSPC zone three grid. Okay. So what's not in here is I'm not. They want to tie out to some kind of city control. That's extra. Okay. Zoom out a little bit here, Danny, so I can see where we're at. Is this my desktop? Yep. Okay. All right. I know where we're at. All right. Okay. So I don't know. We got to go a thousand feet. Plus, we're going to have to take a chunk of the, this access road probably in here. So. 14 or 1500 feet gets you to B Street over here. Okay. And it's probably out. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere in here. Yep. Okay, so man, I don't know. I think we need somewhere between three and six points on each side of the river. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to, we'll figure 12 yeah. points. So just, yeah. just remember that. Right, there's a lot of great change. Yep, it's up and down there. So, okay. Okay, so first thing is control. Okay, the next thing I typically estimate is, or the thing I put in my scope is their topo. Now, the very first thing I always ask on something like this is, can we use an aerial? Um, you need a ground topo for this. Probably for some of it, but I bet you we can use an aerial for a big chunk. So this is not the freeway, right? The freeway's down here? Right. This is a city street? Yep. Okay, good. So let's assume we're going to do an aerial with infill because that's going to be cheaper for the client. Okay? And I think this is small enough we can do the UAB. Okay? So we're going to say topo, we're going to do A, UAB aerial. Okay? And then we're going to do B because look, 70% of that side is what type of terrain? Ground. Dirt. Okay, but we need some we need some infill, so we're gonna I'm gonna do two two types of infill on this. So we're gonna have I'm gonna call it a hardscape infill. And then we're gonna say structure infill. Okay, so let's talk about what that is, just the three of us real quick on this site, because we're gonna have to estimate it. So we're going to need ground surveys on this road. Mm -hmm. If this is a dirt road, we probably don't, but there's something here, concrete, mm -hmm. right? So we'll need that. And then they're, they're going to want, we're probably going to have to freaking ground survey this the whole 1,000 feet or 1,500 feet, okay? I believe there's going to be 
these structures running along. Is that elevated right there, Danny? Yeah, that, this that's is the, it, it tears up right there, doesn't it? So we've got to get all the abutments underneath there. So really, really, guys, let's just say they're not touching this, these two corridors, right? So really, the only thing that's got to get ground surveyed is this, right? That's the only hardscape out here. Yep. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to give them a, we're going to give them an optional task too. We're going to give them an optional task for the bridge structures here to scan it. Okay. And then we'll give them a, we'll give them a, an optional task to scan the approaches. So we're going to break that out. Mike. So here's what they're going to probably do. They're all they're going to watch the aerial probably with a day or two ground surveys. But I guarantee you before this thing gets built, if they're really putting that bridge in between. They're gonna to have to survey these two. That and they're gonna to have to have structures. I uh, maybe not. Maybe they can work off the, the as builds if they've got good as builds. I saw some as builds coming through. Okay. They're just gonna need a really detailed survey around the slope of the river too, from top of bank down. Yeah. To show the intent and the slope. That then they I, I, can't, in I can't believe they're not gonna they don't want soundings. We'll probably give them an option for that too. So let's do structure infill. And we're gonna break this into two pieces. We're gonna go uh we're going to go bridge, and then we'll do approaches. We're going to break that out for them. And they told me they didn't need it, but we're going to give them a price for soundings right at the crossing. <clears throat> and we'll have to track down, a, we'll have to rent a single beam echo sounder. Honestly, it's so shallow. you could do with it too. Okay, all right, so that's good to know. Okay. Okay, so that's our topo. Okay, that's the easy stuff. Then they need basically a land net, right? What Caltrans calls a land net. And that's the, um, the parcels that identify the parcels. Yep. Don't let me forget when we do the topo, we also have to, uh, we have to ground survey utilities. So this is hardscape infill, and we'll say utilities because we can't get those off the aerial. Okay, so three is, uh, we're gonna call, I'm just gonna call this, uh, I'm gonna call it prelim right away survey and I have a task for that, I think. So this is very different from everything else we do here and let me explain why. At this, at this stage in the game, we're not fully resolving boundaries. We're basically putting this thing together record. Mm -hmm. All they need to do is get a rough idea of what parcels they impact. We pulled all that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you guys did some. You did some map. Did some research. So essentially, what we're going to do is identify corners, tie down some maps, plug in some deeds where we can. Okay, and then we're not even going to. We're going to make it clear in our scope. This is not a final land net. Okay, that'll be. I don't even know if we can price that yet. We can, but it'll be a big number, right? Because there's some unknown risk here that we, you know. So we're going to just give a preliminary right away survey. We'll price that out, okay? Well, Matt's got an idea of what we got to do with both bridges, okay? So then we're going to give them. Is there any way we get through this without an ROS? Nope. No, I guarantee we're going to hit a trigger. So we're going to do project ROS, and I have a scope task for that, okay? And that's probably what they want, okay? Oh. We needed to give them an optional price for locating. I just thought about something else that I thought they might need, and I forgot what it was already. Oh, we're going to give them an option for pre-construction mod res. They going to need that? They probably won't need that. Uh, they probably won't need that this phase. Probably need to run a Corps of Engineers. I'm going to put it in there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and give it an op optional because what I'm worried about is depending on what they do with this survey, they may take this the full design without. If we do this right, it's in front of them. At the, at it's in front of them. And here's the thing: if they do this right. They could technically go to full design with only a little bit of boundary surveying, right? Like we're going to probably tuggle everything they need to go to full design. 
unless they mess with these structures. And they might not, they might not touch them. So we'll throw it in there, we'll give it to them as an option. Monofresa, I've already got a task. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty typical for a bridge project. So let's review what's optional here. Uh, this is gonna be optional, because we gotta split that out, right? Optional, optional, that's required. Optional, so we got four optional tasks we're gonna have, right? Okay, so let's go write our scope. So we have our proposal folder, right? I think the scope's in there and the scope task library is in there. 